Hello everyone and welcome to the Game Shed with me Mark and welcome back to another PS Classic hack video. This is one part of a few mini videos that I'm going to do to cover off some of the underlying questions that keep coming up in, in the comments section of the uh, main PS Classic hack video. Now in today's video I'm going to try and answer one of the questions that keeps coming up and that is how to rip your PS1 discs directly onto your PC in the bin and queue format so you can upload them to a USB stick and then play them on your PS Classic. So this is fairly easy to do, there's a bunch of PC applications that will do this for you um, but you need to know what they are obviously. So I found an awesome website which a lot of you all know already, it is Emu Paradise um, and on Emu Paradise they have a community uploaded links and downloads section which is massively useful they've got tons of awesome stuff in here but one of the things that really became useful for this reasoning is the general CD utils section now there's two applications in here that you will need for this purpose there may be other ways of doing this guys and feel free to chuck them in the comments but this is the way I know how to do this so the first one is Img Burn, I M G Burn, and the second one is C D Mage. I have already chucked those onto my machine. I've chucked the disc in, and I will show you what you have to do. So first things first, open up Img Burn. I don't know what to call it, guys. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to know. And then go to uh, Mode and Read. And what you'll see is it will pick up the disc that you've got in there. So as you can see, I've got Doom in there. Uh, and then it will ask you where do you want to put it on your machine as an ISO file. So I had a previous, uh, ooh, I had a previous folder, didn't I? What was it called? Bleem Sync, PS ISO. So I've created a folder there called Doom New. I'm gonna, as you can see there, it's asking what do you want the file name to be, and then saved as what type. So I'll save that. Click the big button, and what it will do, it will extract that disk as an ISO file. That's a bit loud, isn't it? You get that lovely music, uh, click OK. Now close Image Burn, open up CD Mage, as so. Go to the folder that we opened up before. Let's go to the folder where the ISO file is, so uh, PS ISO, Doom New, and there you go. You should see a disk image file. That is your ISO file. Grab that, chuck it in CD Mage, and it will ask you, Select the image type of the file, doom.iso, click open. There you go. It will show you what's in that file. And as you can see, it's got Doom US bin and Doom US Q. Now, what you want to do here is right click, extract files, choose where you want it. So I'm going to choose that same folder, desktop, bleem sync, psiso, whoop, missed it, psiso, doom new, click OK. Uh, there's a few options in there you may want to mess about with but generally that's pretty straightforward and we can leave everything as it is uh, keep broken files just leave all that tick leave it as it is click extract and you'll see it appear here as a bin there's the bin completed successfully and a Q file right so you feel free to rename these if you want to get rid of like the US or whatever that's fine, it's not a big deal. There you go, close CD Mage. And then we can remove the image file. So you should be left with a Q and a bin. Very, very simple guys. So give that a go. Let me know if you get any issues at all. You should be ripping files from PS1 games in no time. It's literally that easy. So as I said before, two applications, Imburn and CD Mage chuck them on and go through the steps as I showed you just now. So that is the first question. I got a lot and I thought I'd make a quick video from it. I will continue to answer those questions in two minute videos for you over the next few days. So keep an eye on our channel guys, make sure you're subscribed, drop us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and feel free to comment below with any questions you might have. Thank you so much, I will see you next time.